Like, I oh, look what? very like womanly. You look like a full woman. I like this picture. You look amazing. We look nice together. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. I like how my well, I like how my boobs look. Hey. Really. <laughs> oh, no. oh, hey. How was the party? It was good. There is no way my neck is this big, Hold on. right? Hold I mean, on. Oh. Jason. Sorry. Mo. We have really good news. Mm -hmm. Come sit. Come, please. I want to tell you. Last night at the party, tell it, Nathan. Tell. Oh my no, God. No, no, I really want to tell. Okay. We met Tan France. Ah. Tan France. Tan France. We saw him. Queer eyes for the straight guy. Exactly. Yes. And Nathan, tell. Nathan set up this whole thing. Nathan, tell. Oh my goodness. Well, it's just super crazy, right? Because Tan is actually really good friends with a bunch of UTA assistants, which is obviously sad, right? And I told him that you want to make a master class. I mean, it is official. We are in talks. <laughs> we got to show the trailer. I listen, you talk, live your truth with Gilly. Today, we have such a special episode for you guys. We have biologist. He's, a, he's an evolutionarily biologist. And he's going to come talk to us about animals. So before we get to all of that, we have a very special announcement from my sweetie. Let's hear, Morgan. Um, I want to dedicate this trailer and the announcement of this trailer to... The feminist people that made, um, I don't, I can't think of any, uh, um, but, oh, there's the woman who, um, flew the plane over the oceans, the woman who edited all of, all of Hitler stuff. No, and she, babe. Um, yeah. and, and so also you. Oh, you're so sweet to Who's me. Who's gay. <laughs> and right. so here's my announcement for my trailer for my master class that I made. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Thank you, Tina. Go ahead. How do I do it? Big lungs, big heart, very little up here, and not in a mean way. Sometimes I even try to get in my head. I can't get there, can't get in my head. I'll be teaching you all kind of moves. Freestyle, backstroke. I get my inspiration for swimming from all types of places. A great book, watching someone run really fast and just thinking about what that would be like if it was in the water. I'm Morgan Coombs, and this is my master class. I did Great it. Great work, I made that. I think a lot of swimmers just became swimmers today. Hi. You can sit wherever, yeah. Nathan's gonna hop on today to be on the pod with us. Thank you, Kevin. On the podcast? Thanks. Yeah, he was like, my dream is to be on a podcast. And I was like, we have one. I can get you on. Mm. So he's just going to join for today. It's a big deal, though. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. Awesome. Live your truth with Gilly. All right, let's start with the monologue, Tina. Um, cards on the table, you guys. I'm pretty hungover. So I'm just going to take a running stab at this, and then we'll see what we find and cut something together. I'll just go off the top of my head. Animals, see what comes to me. Good thing I'm a pro. <laughs> <clears throat> I love animals. I didn't have pets growing up because, um, sorry, I did. I'm going to start again, Tina. Hey, guys. Welcome to the podcast. Today, we're diving into the spooky, freaky, funny world of animals. Animals, 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 animals. No. Uh, I feel really sick. Okay. I'll tell you a little bit about my thing with animals and why I wanted to get this on the show today. 
when I was younger, my neighbor had a dog. And the dog, I used to let him come over across the yard and sniff my hand, my fingers and my palm and whatever he wanted to smell. Every day, every day, every day, every day. Then one day, the dog's not sniffing my hand anymore. He's sniffing my crotch. What does he smell? And I'm not stupid. My breasts had come in. My pubic mound had come in the summer before. I'm sensing a connection here. I don't think the dog wants to sleep with me, but I wonder what is going on. I'm going to just bring in Dr. Hellman. What did that dog want with me? And is it what I think he wanted? Well, d dogs do have a, a lot more reactors in their nose, so they are more sensitive to to smell. So oh, now animals are very important. We need to learn them because we used to be them. Is that true, Dr. Hillman? Uh, that's not true. All right, let's just bring in our guest. This is Dr. Hillman. He is an animal guy. Hello. So, Mr. Know-it-all, you are an animal expert, an evolutionary biologist. Um, One more, Tina. <clears throat> Live your truth with Gilly. Does anyone else have any questions for Dr. Hillman? Because I'll say I need a second to just go numb. Are we rolling? Go ahead. Yes. So we all know that horses are either women or boys, right? They're never girls or men. And I that's, feel... That's, I'm just going to cut you off right there. Uh, horses aren't all just adult females or male adolescents. Oh. Uh, they can be all ages. What was your book about again? Uh, thanks for asking. I study the uh, evolution of sociality in insects and arachnids. Right. Bugs. You are the bug guy. Uh, Yuck. Does that gross you out? Uh, no. Hey, are you ever like, why am I looking at bugs? Well, sometimes on those late nights in the lab, but most of the time I, I enjoy <laughs> myself. Do you ever take out a bug to put it under the microscope and then instinct just takes over and you just <laughs> smash it? And then you're, oh, I was supposed to study that, not kill it. <laughs> no, we, 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 really, we really try to keep the bugs alive. I would gas them. We do, we try not to kill the bugs. My my family sometimes they would go to a house in upstate and as a group as a big family and my nieces go with me and they have they get jars from the kitchen because we rent it but there are jars in the kitchen and they go and they look at different stuff with the the ground they go and dig and they can find different stuff like a worm. And Morgan's too sweet. They always tell them you got to put a leaf in there. So they can eat it. It's good. It's good. Bugs it, eat leaves, huh? That is affirmative. Bugs eat leaves. Bugs eat a lot of different things, you know? Mm -hmm. It's great to hear that your nieces like bugs. I mean, there's not a lot of f females in my field, so it's exciting for them to... What about the bees? I mean, remember Save the Bees? Oh I was seeing that all over my Facebook. Is someone on that? There are a lot of scientists okay, and good. ecologists. Because I, well, I mean, on... I can't right now. I just have a uh, lot on my plate. I have to take care of myself. I have my podcast. I feel very responsible for my listeners. And when I heard about the bees, I was like, "Not me." <laughs> Skip. Oh, I have a question. So I saw a girl post a dog on Instagram, and it was wearing a shirt that said "fag" on it. Uh, is that okay? What do you mean? Is that okay? Is that okay? Can I see that? I, I think yeah. I oh, might know yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. If it's the person I'm thinking of, that's not okay. Live your truth with Gilly. Welcome back. We are talking to our animal expert, Dr. Lee Hillman. Pew, pew, pew. Nope. Now I want to do that kind of segment where you bring out a snake or a lizard or a chinchilla and we get to learn about that kind of animal. I, I thought we'd talked about I, I I'm not that kind of animal doctor i don't have You're not that kind of animal doctor no i deal with insects and arachnids bugs, that means... right. i can find a bug oh that's true we get flies in here sometimes uh. mm, okay <laughs> let's do uh listener questions while we're waiting morgan can oh you grab some God. of those and we'll we had our engineer go through our listener questions and find ones that were related to animals so, Dr. Lee, you're going to lead us on these. Go ahead, Maureen. This is from Kayla. I'm a baby gay on the Shire side that just moved to Grand Rapids. I've been trying to make friends on the apps and at lesbian bars, but I get too nervous and I can't seal the deal. Do you have any tips for establishing queer community in a new city? Hmm. Dr. Lee? Me? Why? I, 
I don't know if I'm the perfect person to be talking about this. I'm uh, just I'm just a straight guy. You've never had even a passing thought about exploring or I mean, I don't know, maybe a thought. I, a woman did once tell me that I have dyke nails. I uh so uh, You're gay passing. I am. Yeah, and I wonder if you picked up on queerness. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Do you like me? Uh, yeah, I like you. Well, that's gay. Oh, that's really sweet. So. Let's do one more listener question. Morgan, could you could you grab that and let's just do one more? <clears throat> oh, oh, this one's nice. Delia from DC wrote, Gilly, thank you so much for your podcast. Your mm -hmm. advice has legitimately changed my life. Mm. I've struggled with boundaries with my partner during their cycles of love addiction, mm. but then I heard your advice to Morgan after their cousin Cassie decided. You know what? Let's wrap up with Tina. Did We're going to do cut an the ad part with Cassie from the podcast. We 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 kept it in, but a very abridged version. Did you lie to me? Not really, babe. We just we talked about it, and then it was about to go to air, and we didn't have time to go over it. I have to go. Hold on, Mo. Let's. Bye. Oh, shit. Okay. I gotta. Hold on. Mo.